Hi, my name is Taylor Faye and I post affinity designer tutorials relating to making your own sewing patterns. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the brand new knife tool to basically manipulate darts. Um, and this is basically the slash and spread method, but digitally. Uh, this knife tool is only available on the 2.0 update that Affinity put out a few days ago. So if you haven't downloaded that software, just head to their website um, and just get the free trial or download all of the software. It's just a one-off payment, not a subscription like Adobe. And then you can watch my tutorial and won't get confused because if you've got the old version, it's not going to make much sense. So yeah, let's get started. pretty standard bodice block in Affinity Designer 2. It has one large waist dart, which I'm going to basically show you how to manipulate using the spread and slash method to change it over to the side seam. Now, first thing that I'm going to do is click on the outline, click on the node tool and move the center of the dart up to the bust point. The reason I'm doing that is because that's going to be the most center of rotation when it comes to the spread and slash. Now then you're going to grab the knife tool. I've left the stabilizer on for the knife tool just to make it a little bit easier. But basically we are going to be doing this freehand, which I know seems counterintuitive, but it doesn't let you do a straight line at any angle. So you kind of have to kind of do it freehand and then edit it afterwards. It's pretty easy to do. I'll show you what I mean. So then you're going to get your knife tool and you're going to start before the node, click and drag, go through that node, and end over there. So that's roughly where I wanted my dart to start. Uh, you can move that up and down if you want to. Uh, and then the best way I find to make this straight is to basically get rid of all the circular nodes. Didn't quite get rid of all more there. Get rid of that one. And then you've got a straight line. So now it's split your shape into two. You've got the top piece and the bottom piece. And then you want to highlight just that one layer of the piece you're going to be moving. Change your tool to the move tool and then move your center of rotation, this little thing in the middle, to exactly the bust point of the shape. So that is about there. And then you're going to just get the rotation tool and drag. Simple as that. So yeah, you can have two small darts, change the dart completely, uh, whatever you fancy. But yeah, just have a play around with this tool. Makes it a lot easier than it was to do this in the old Affinity design. And you could do it, but it would basically meant drawing new lines and splitting the shape in a much more complicated way. This knife tool makes it really, really quick. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna finish it there. Um, basically, I would just delete these two lines on both of the shapes and then join these nodes together. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. The knife tool for dart manipulation made easy. Mm -hmm. 